Hey guys, it's Nina Contento with episode 12 of South Jersey Speed. NJMP hosts Moto America's Championship of New Jersey. Thousands of fans come out to show their support. ACO has the import and domestic nationals, but the crowd seem to gear toward one more than the other. Find out which coming up on South Jersey Speed. Education is the seed to growing. At Bright Beginnings Academy, that seed is provided and sowed with care by professionals. With degree teachers, a secure building and playground, and curriculum-based learning, Bright Beginnings Academy provides an environment designed for excelled learning and activity for every growing child. With locations in Cherry Hill and Sewell, accessibility is close to you. Visit bbanj.net to schedule a tour of our facilities, learn about our classes, and find out about our summer camps. Bright Beginnings Academy is not only the right start, but a bright start. Moto America is back at the New Jersey Motorsports Park for the Championship of New Jersey, sponsored by k &N Filters. It is an awesome atmosphere here today. There are a ton of people walking around, and I am really loving the vibe. I cannot get over these street bikes. They are flying down these turns, flying down the straightaway, and actually, I got the chance to go on the back of one of the bikes yesterday. Check it out. I'm here with Caitlin Clement with k and Filters, and they are actually the sponsor of this race this weekend. Tell me what's going on here. Super excited to be the sponsor of the race. Um, we're the leading uh, producer of filters out in California, um, and this is our first time uh, sponsoring this race, and we're super excited to be here. Moto America, New Jersey, Motorsports Park. NJMP! That's right! Love it! Why do you think K&N is such a good fit for um, sponsoring the championship of New Jersey? So currently we sponsor Kyle Wyman and then Yoshimura Racing, so we thought you know, we might as well support this series as well. We've seen really good success with the two teams and we thought it would be uh, great to try the series sponsorship as well. Um, we're, we've been familiar with the track uh, through the NASCAR sponsorship came here for the first time last year and was completely blown away by how awesome this track is. So I thought it was a great fit with this race this weekend and then NASCAR here uh, next weekend. It just seemed like a perfect, I'm just gonna stick around New Jersey <laughs> for a week. I mean, Why that not? sounds like a perfect. We're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Even from the first event in 2009 we had here, we had a massive amount of, of people just coming out to watch and a lot of them coming out to watch road racing for the first time so you know I mean that's that's the goal for all of us our series continues to grow and we just want to attract more people who haven't really been exposed to it and uh, I think you can see you know it's a pretty exciting deal so oh, yeah. you know a lot of people come out for the first time and they're a fan for life so you know that's what we're all pushing for and hopefully that's the case this event is always uh, just a great fan experience uh, and all kinds of things for families to do. Well, I've always been into motorcycle racing, but just never been to a road race before. I've been to some of the dirt stuff and always loved it. Uh, I'm mainly in charge of um, the automotive side of things, so NASCAR and NHRA and stuff. So 
being able to come out to this and do something that I'm a little more personal invested in mm -hmm. uh, just as a fan is really cool. We're in a pretty good area. You've got Philadelphia fairly close. You know, you're really not that far from New York either. Um, and so I think we pull from a, a good kind of diverse geographic area. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, also I think it's the kind of the cap to the end of the summer and everybody enjoys coming out. It's always been the same, the same weekend. You know, for the fans that come out here, our paddock is actually open. So MotoGP and World Superbike, you have to have a special pass to get to their paddock, but our paddock is open. So people can come see the trucks, they can come see people working on the bikes. Um, it, uh, the garage doors are always open. And we also have um, the full throttle package to where people can go out onto the, they can purchase the ticket to go out onto the grid wow. during the actual races. And they can get that kind of upfront look. Okay. And the reason that that's really cool to all the manufacturers and the sponsors is the fans get more access than they've gotten before. And so I think that that's helping sponsorship and other manufacturers wanting to be involved in the series. Racing a car and racing a motorcycle is is very different. You know, with a car, yes, you're, you're involved, and those guys are certainly athletes. I'm not going to say that they're not. But with a bike, there's a lot more movement involved. There's a lot more of the rider involved in the bike, and I think people are just amazed by it. People are amazed that you can put your knee on the ground at those kinds of speeds, and that's what everybody always asks me. It's like, so you can put your knee down? <laughs> yes, yes, you can. And it's just it's it's an art form. Um, in fact, in other languages. Um, you know, a racer, you know, what they say pilot. Um, oh, wow. You know, for, for a motorcycle rider, it's pilot. It's not, you know, just a racer or, or a driver. So it's, it's, it's such a, you know, kind of active personal role with the bike. Yesterday, I actually had the opportunity to ride on the back of one of the street bikes, and that was insane. Yeah. So I kind of slightly, not really have an idea of what it's like to be out there. But tell me, why, why is this your passion? Like, why do you go out and do this? Uh, you know, everybody thinks we're kind of adrenaline junkies, but that's really, you know, that's not really it. I think, uh, you know, at, in this type of racing, the details count and uh, your precision on the motorcycle, and there's a lot of technique behind this stuff. So, you know, I like being able to push my limits and understand what I can really do on a motorcycle, and, and, um, and being repeatable on the bike is, is it's just fulfilling to, to ride at your best. So. And how do you get to this point? Well, you know, for me, starting in the dirt was huge, you know, a big background in, in the dirt racing, so flat track was, um, you know, my beginnings, and a lot of guys have different backgrounds, like motocross, or right here in New Jersey, they have the mini GP, mm -hmm. where they race the little bikes right. on the, uh, the go-kart track, so, you know, and from there I progressed and then went into the club racing, which they also have here, CCS, and we I think, run here, and then you know, you just progress through the ranks and eventually turn pro. I'm a racer myself, just club racing. Cool. Um, I don't do pro racing, but you know, I love this sport. You know, this sport gave a lot to me as far as, um, you know, having a family um, at the track that I see, you know, just the, the thrill of racing. So being able to be a part of racing in America, mm -hmm. it means a lot to me. did Moto America obtain the rights to the series? Find out the answer after the break. 
Inspira announces our latest medical breakthrough. It's called The Phone. Our new app lets you see an urgent care doctor faster. Find the closest center with the shortest wait. You can even check in online. Bless you. Get text updates and wait from the comfort of home. Inspira Urgent Care. Get the app. You own a small to mid-sized business and want to market your company. But how do you break out of the shadow of the big box stores? That's where ClearBridge Media Consulting comes in. ClearBridge provides the necessary tools and resources to interact and engage your customers and specializes in finding the perfect formula for you to succeed. ClearBridge bridges the gap between your business goals and the resources required to succeed in today's digital world. Call or visit ClearBridge Media Consulting online today for your free brand audit. Hi, Comfort Bob. You know, whenever we have a system in an attic, we always have a chance of a water leak. Now that could be a heater or an air conditioner. When we have a water leak, it can cause very severe problems. Now this unit has a pan underneath it that was going to capture the water. It didn't. The water got out beyond the pan here. It went on to the deck. It can go down to the carpet, furnishings below, damage the ceiling. There's all sorts of consequences. Besides a pan under a unit, it should have an overflow switch. So if the water gets too deep, it shuts off. That way you avoid having the water overflowing. This is very deteriorated, there's rust in the pan, this unit really has to be replaced. If you have a unit in the attic, make sure you have it checked, give us a call, we can look for signs of water, and keep you out of trouble. Because you deserve Comfort Now. Comfort Now by Bob McAllister, because you deserve Comfort Now. 609-400-1005 What happens when an entire organization builds for the future? Dreams are achieved. Terrasol Energies helps organizations reduce energy costs and increase sustainability with innovative solar power systems. Integrating revolutionary components from SunPower's Helix system, this SunPower commercial dealer provides simply the best. Transform your business with the world's first fully integrated commercial solar solution. Are we a community bank? Yes. Do we provide the best in personal and community service? Of course. Do we offer the convenience of online banking, competitive rates and convenient hours? Absolutely. But Franklin Bank is more than that, much more. Franklin Bank is also focused on lending, on getting businesses and families going. Come in today and let us show you how we can help. Home, auto, business. Franklin Bank. Build your future with us. East Coast Roofing and Siding. Protecting what you love and own. East Coast Roofing and Siding. Trust us with your family and home. Hi, I'm Larry Styler, owner of East Coast Roofing and Siding. For over 35 years, we've strived to bring excellence to your home in the work that we do. Whether it be roofing, siding, windows, or solar, you can trust us with your family and home. Trust us with your family and home. In 2014, Moto America bought the rights to the series from AMA Pro. Moto America held their first event at NJMP in 2015. After that, they held two in 16 and one this year. Stay tuned for another South Jersey Speed trivia question later on in the episode. Now, back to the show. So this weekend at Echo Dragway, we have import and domestic nationals, which kind of reminds me of a mini Pan American nationals. The Team Puerto Rico cars are actually here, but the drivers are not. They weren't able to fly up here due to Hurricane Irma. So there's still a lot of racing going on, and my question for you is import or domestic? As far as imports or domestics go, um, I'm pretty non-biased, basically. If it's clean and it's fast, I'm all for it, you know what I mean? Because uh, you might not like something as far as domestic or an import, but you know, you have to respect anything that's fast, basically, and clean, you know? I like imports instead of domestics, because um, I like to, the challenge of having half the displacement, four cylinders, and running the same time as some of these big V8 guys. I guess ever since I was 16 years old, I've always owned a General Motors product, and um, I went from 442s 
had a Corvette, now I have a 2016 Camaro SS that I like to bracket race, uh, like to come to Atco Raceway, and um, you know, I, I just feel that you know a rear-wheel drive V8 American muscle car is, is the way to go. You know, they're just a lot of fun, a lot of power, um, the styling just can't be beat, and um, I feel privileged to own one. The reason why we like imports is because we like to reel them in at the very end, just when they think they're winning. Domestic over import, I, I don't. Nothing against imports. I just feel like it's more muscle cars, cool, and I can run good times on all motor. I respect imports, but it's just something cool. You know what I mean? It's it's classic car, so I can't really beat that. I like import cars because I, I like New Jersey because <laughs> they're fast and they're fun to race. She always wins all the time. Yeah. She always gets so much trophies. What I like about muscle cars is the torque. And that's why I've always liked American Muscle. I'm, I'm a Mustang fan. Because it's a challenge. We like him first because it's a challenge. Better than domestic. I'm an old school guy. I just want to keep the old school thing. Uh, muscle cars, the way it is now, the imports, they are like electronic. I don't like too much electronic. I just like to stay old school guy. That's the main. <laughs> we like to feel like we are the underdogs. That's it. Why do you feel like you're the underdog? Because we got smaller engines. So bigger engine. Yeah, they got bigger engine, we got less power. So still we, you know, we with and them. we can still compete with them and outrun them. So yeah, yeah we like that feeling. I just like the uh, right. style. Uh, Let's get it. Let's with, start somebody. Um, General so, Motors to me is a product. Do which car has a lot of horsepower? Well imports are running fast, but we still old school. We run the streets. Imports are better domestic only because we got smaller displacement, smaller horsepower, still cover on the same numbers for at least the less amount. I prefer domestic for the simple fact that you, uh, you, you know, you grudge race. There's more of a gambler sport. Imports is more like everybody kind of helps each other out. Everybody has the same tuners. Everybody has the same cars, pretty much the same setups, and it's basically to perfection. More like a like a class racing. Domestics are domestics are just. Find you the best engine builder, build your best and get it on. Simple. I absolutely no hands down the whole nine yards import. A little four cylinder kicking <laughs> with a V8. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Come on guys, really. That's the only way to go. Yeah. It's a it's a, it's the truth. A little Honda, a little rotary, whipping up on the Hemi, an LS7, LS1, LS whatever. How many LSs you guys got? <laughs> You know what? We can't even figure it out. Enough. All we know is Enough a little four-cylinder whipping up on a V8. That's why we love Echo and that's why we here. Okay, with all that being said, we quickly learned that the imports outnumbered the domestic cars at this race. The difference between an import and a domestic used to be where they were made. But believe it or not, domestic cars aren't always made in the U.S. and imports aren't always made in other countries. The cars themselves have many, many differences, but we won't get into all that considering any car can have over 30,000 parts, including all of the nuts and bolts. The sixth annual Import and Domestics Nationals features eight classes, Bracket, 1150 Index, 1050 Index, 750 Index, ATVs, Motorcycles, Front Wheel Drive, and then the Quick 16. The race is also primarily an import race, according to the staff. There's a car show on the premise, but you won't be seeing those vehicles head down the track. So, let's check out some racing.
car manufacturer was the first to begin building cars at their plant located in the U.S. The answer, after the break. Seabrook House has been helping families find the courage to recover from alcoholism, drug addiction, and other compulsive mental disorders for over 42 years. Our programs include the Family Matrix program that allows families to heal and begin to strengthen the family bonds strained by addiction, inpatient rehabilitation, extended care, and outpatient treatments. If you or a loved one is suffering from addiction, please call or visit us online today. Seabrook House, helping families find the courage to recover. At SNJ Today, we don't just like South Jersey, we love it. We go out every day to find the stories that matter to you and your community and share them on our nightly newscast at 7 and 11 p.m. on Channel 4. Did you know that you can get all the great South Jersey stories in your news feed? Like us on Facebook to see all the news, sports, and weather that affects you. You like South Jersey, we love South Jersey. Like us today on Facebook to keep informed with South Jersey's news. SNJ Today, we are for South Jersey. Between my husband and my two kids, we spend a lot of time at Atlantic Care Urgent Care Centers. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Three, two, one, go! Ah. Happy Saturday, Mrs. Johnson. Let's just say Atlantic Care Urgent Care Centers know us pretty well. Be right back. They're the ones I know I can trust. Board certified providers, on-site medication dispensing, most insurances accepted, no appointments needed. Trust the experts at Dondero Diamonds and Fine Jewelry to help you make a decision that lasts a lifetime. Avoid the hassles of oil and propane deliveries in large tanks. It's easy to convert to environmentally friendly natural gas. It's efficient, reliable, clean, and convenient. The least expensive of all heating fuels and is produced in North America. A natural gas heating system typically lasts five years longer than an oil furnace. For heating, hot water, cooking, clothes drying, even for outdoor grilling, pool heating, and fireplaces, there's no better option than natural gas. Call 1-800-822-WARM or visit SouthJerseyGas.com. Marcacci Meats, the area's best butcher shop, has moved to the corner of Oak and Delcy. You'll find the best cuts of the freshest quality meat, all cut to order by our butcher to ensure that you are bringing home the best meat for your table. In the new Marcacci Meats, you will now find produce, subs, sandwiches, and a full deli line. Like us on Facebook to learn about our weekly specials. Experience the difference when shopping at Marcacci Meats on the corner of Oak and Delcy. It works out for us and look at, just look at Eugene. He has a quality of life. He's a different person. He is. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I would have never thought Margaret would have qualified. And lo and behold, she did. And it's been very, very helpful for her. And made the family much better off too. National Automotive Parts Association, or NAPA's blog, in 1982, Honda became the first foreign car manufacturer to begin building their cars at their plant in Ohio. Now here's what's coming up at our SJ Speed racetracks. The Philadelphia Modifier Street Rod Club Fall Race, Sunday, September 17th, all cars 1980 and older are invited to come out and show their stuff. Not only will there be racing, but there will also be a car show and swap meet to add to the day's events. Racers are $40, show cars are $25, and the swap meet is $30. Spectators are just $20. Bucks. Kids getting free with an adult. ATCO has an event coming up specifically for car clubs. All makes and models are welcome, but there are requirements, so make sure you check them out before you come. 
They'll be featuring events like tug of war, car limbo, burnout contest, a clown car competition, two-step competition, and even a Twinkie eating contest. Spectators are just $15. Prices to enter vary, so make sure you check Atco's website for more info. Fun NASCAR. NASCAR comes to New Jersey Motor Sports Park September 16th for the JustDrive.com 125 NASCAR k and Pro Series East. Watch NASCAR's rising stars heat up the asphalt in door-to-door -door racing. Come early for off-track experiences like BMX stunt shows, autograph sessions, VIP experiences, and more. Gates open at 12 p.m. Tickets start at just $15. Children under 12 are free. Get your tickets today at NJMP.com. Accelerate your excitement at New Jersey Motor Sports Park. Absolute Cycle Experience, or ACE, is making their way to NJMP for a track and schooling day on Saturday, September 23rd and Sunday the 24th. You can learn how to ride a street bike or a motorcycle or just perfect skills you already have. For more information, go to their website, AbsoluteCycle.com.